the wonders of the world. All the wonders of the universe. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. How you guys doing? Oh my gosh, so nice to see you. Um, welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. My name is Kariti. Uh, we're gonna hop in here and just uh, kind of get to get to explore the game a little bit. Get to see what it's all about. Exploring in space. It's gonna be fun. Introduction. Welcome to Universe Sandbox. Well, thank you very much. Um, introduction. This is a realistic scale simulation of our solar system. Rotate the view by clicking and dragging. Okay, that's that's cool. Whoa! 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 I'm so bright! Wow! Look, guys! It's the Earth! Whoa! Earth! Whoa! What can I do to the Earth? Oh, I could spin it! <gasps> Whee! <laughs> I think this is Australia and this is New Zealand. But that, that is not what New Zealand looks like. So if you right click it, it gives you all the information about everything. So the mass, the radius, and we can change all of this, I think. Surface temperature, age. Oh, can we find out what the earth will look like? Like bajillion years from now? Delete this object. I can delete earth. Should we do it? Should we delete the Earth and everything and everyone on it? This planet will cease to exist and I will be the kid. Well, I will be also dead, but <laughs> we can open different simulations, cores, physics, collisions, explosions. I want to see some collisions. Mars collision, Earth and Moon slow motion. Heck yeah. I want to see this. Whoa. Whoa, dudes. Normally the moon stays in a nearly circular orbit around the Earth. In this simulation, however, the moon crashes directly into the Earth's surface, producing fragments that are pulled back to the surface by Earth's gravity. Holy buckets, dudes. Look at this. So this is what would happen if the moon just obliterated Earth. Oh, we're insta-dead. Every Just from the shockwave, it looks like everybody's just completely destroyed. Earth and moon times five. Five moons. Heck yeah, let's do this. Dudes, it's it's so powerful. It's actually so powerful that it spins the whole planet. Like it, it like just completely throws it off its rotation, and now it's gonna throw it out of its orbit potentially. That is, that is crazy cool. What are these? Are these like pieces of debris? I don't know. What is happening? Dude, space is freaking cool, man. That's all I gotta say. Space is freaking cool. Oh my god, sun and Jupiter 20 times. Oh my gosh. Black hole and Earth. What happens with a black hole? Where's the black hole at? Okay. Well, that happened quick. The Earth crashes directly into and is swallowed up by a black hole, the mass of the sun. Yay, sun time. Um, I want to click on it because I want to see what the, what the actual mass is. One. Okay. It's density. I don't know what these measurements are, but dude, that is crazy cool. What happens if we add, like, more suns? Like, what if we add, like, just a bunch of suns around the actual sun? What does that do? These suns are a lot smaller than um, than these ones. What about Vega? I heard Va yeah, Vega's massive. What if we put it inside the sun? Yo, 
Yo. It's so bright, you can't see anything. I exploded about seven suns. Tesla Roadster in space. What? <laughs> what? No, f no, this isn't real. There's no way. There's no way this is real. On February 6, 2018, SpaceX performed a su successful test launch of their Falcon Heavy rocket, the most powerful rocket currently in use. The launch was intended as a demonstration of the Falcon's heavy ability to launch a payload into an orbit that could reach Mars. Also successfully landed two of the Falcon Heavy reusable booster engines. I saw the a GIF of that on um, Twitter. That's really cool. Um, as part of the test, the Falcon rocket carried a dummy payload to demonstrate that it could launch a large mass on the required or onto the required orbit. For this launch, SpaceX chose an unusual dummy payload, a Tesla Roadster electric car belonging to SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk in a present. What? They wanted a payload that was fun and without irreplaceable sentimental value. While the Roadster will not land on or orbit Mars, its current el elliptical orbit around the sun will take it beyond the orbit of Mars as its furthest point. That's insane that they shot a freaking Tesla into space. No freaking way. What the frick? Dudes, that's crazy. Is this what the Tesla models actually look like? What is that? That's insane. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Space review. Holy bucket. Earth at a million degrees Celsius. <laughs> it just, it evaporated. Dudes, the Earth actually evaporates into dust at a million degrees. The temperature of the sun's corona heat the earth to its te this temperature and it will vaporize, leaving a remnant of a few dozen times more massive than the moon. This remnant will slowly cool as it heats, as it lo it's lost in space. Dudes, what? I want to see this again. Can I see this again? This is a little bit cooler at 100,000, but it's still like... That's so cool! Locked Earths, what are these? Whoa! <laughs> what? Dudes, that's so cool. In this simulation, two Earths are placed next to each other at a distance of half their radius and held in place. The side of each Earth that is the closest to other Earths experiences a larger gravitational attraction than the side farthest from the other Earth. Because the Earths are so close to each other, the distance between these forces is large and each Earth stretches towards the other due to this tidal force. Earths, Each Earth is heated by tidal forces and one is eventually ripped apart, leaving its fragments orbiting to collide with the other Earth. Dude, this is awesome. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap up this episode of Universe Sandbox 2 here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want to know more and learn more and see more and have really cool ideas for me to do, we can we can totally do that. We can even start a new empty simulation and kind of make our own cool things happen. So I'm actually really curious to see um, what we what we come up with in uh, future episodes. But I really enjoy this game. It's a lot of fun. I'll leave it in the description if you want to go play it for yourself. Um, science is a crazy thing. Science is cool, man. I used to always hate science in school I really didn't enjoy it I actually got D's most of the time like I liked my teachers they were really cool shout out to my high school teachers Mr. Christopherson and Mr. Mackey you guys were awesome like imagine if they had a universe sandbox in school and you could just go and like dick around with stuff in science class and learn this way while playing a gaming and having fun I think that would be a way more fun solution to some of the kids that uh, don't really enjoy school or don't 
enjoy certain subjects or especially science. Science can be very boring to some people. That was a really cool experience. I'm going to be playing more of this because I really enjoy this game and I'm, I'm happy to bring you guys new series and, and new videos and, and new content and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, make sure you guys check out Mixer. Follow me on Mixer as well. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm going to be streaming on Mixer this Friday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you're over there. We're going to play some Generation Zero and a bunch of other cool games. So stick around for that. Hope you guys enjoy. Smash like, bump, subscribe, and I will see you gamers later. Bye-bye.